Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. Coming to you guys from Jacob's Nursery in Corona, California, my aquatic plant nursery. Uh, having a great day over here. It's just really hot in the greenhouse, um, but uh, enjoying every day that I get to do what I love. So today I want to talk about immersed and submerged plants, but I'm only going to be focusing on one plant in particular, and that is broadleaf Sagittaria. Now, 100% of the time when I get these from my supplier, they're always grown immersed. And if you guys remember from the things I talked about in my previous videos, immersed uh, plants are plants that are grown uh, half in water and half above water. So uh, when plants are grown this way, their leaves are different, the sh their shape is different, just a lot of things about the plant change, you know? But when they're grown submerged, they they take on a whole different form, okay? But what happens during that process is leaves will die off, uh, root systems that were on the immersed version of the plant will start to die off. And, it, and on my part, as the grower here at the nursery, and you know, I'm the one that takes care of the plants, it's my responsibility to remove all those, those things that are dying so that it doesn't affect the pond and it doesn't affect the overall health of the plant. So that's what I'm doing today. This is something that's part of my regular, uh, you know, maintenance, regular things that I do here at the nursery. And I thought it'd be cool to show you guys. So I'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod over by my little workstation over here where the broadleaf Sagittaria is and uh, show you guys uh, what I do and uh, the differences between an immersed and submerged grown broadleaf Sagittaria. So let's take a look and let's get started. broadleaf Sagittaria is right here. Pretty much all I do is I take it out of the pond like this and uh, I get to work on it. Um, as you can see, all these white roots right here, this is all new growth. This right here is the existing or the uh, original root system of the plant. This was a root system that was attached to the plant when it was growing immersed, when it was growing like this above the water, okay? And as I said, the root system starts to die off when you transition a plant to growing submerged. The leaves start to die off. As you can see, we have some discoloration in the leaves, so we gotta take those off. And um, so yeah, you can see everything that I'm talking about, but it's only been about a week since I got these plants and look at, look at, look at this roots. Look at these roots that have developed. That is insane growth and that's really, really good. And that should prove to you guys that when you buy a plant from me, you get a very, very quality, healthy plant. And I always say an aquatic plant is as only good as its root system. If it doesn't have an extensive, well-established root system, it's not a healthy plant and most likely won't do well in your aquarium. So that's why with the plants I sell, I try to sell quality plants with healthy root systems, okay? But yeah, so you can really get a sense of what I was talking about earlier with the root system dying off and the leaves dying off. So let's go ahead and clean this plant up. All right, guys, so we have a broadleaf Sagittaria right here. Uh, this is one that's, being, that's uh, transitioning from growing immersed uh, to submerged. And you can see that uh, the leaves that have grown out of the center of the plant, the new leaves, look much different than the existing leaves on the plant. This is an immersed grown leaf. This is a submerged grown leaf. So that's how you tell the difference. And these are the ones that we want to take off. Um, so you tell the difference mainly just by the shape, you know, and yeah, pretty much it's that simple, just the shape. So just simply going to break these off. And this doesn't hurt the plant at all. It's not going to kill it. It's not going to harm it in any way, but of course, I always am very careful when I'm doing this. I don't want to rip off any bottom portion of the plant, you know, because that could damage it. And um, uh, then uh, you'll be up that creek without a paddle, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so uh, even this leaf right here, see, you can tell it looks different than, the, than this one right here. I want to take that one off too. So then you're left with this. Okay, you're left with a plant with just basically it's submerged grown leaves on it, which is good. The plant actually looks a lot better too. You, you can tell it looks much better than those long yellowish discolored leaves that were on before. So now that we took care of the leaves, we want to take care of the root system. We don't want to keep this part of the plant, the dying roots on the plant because all that's going to do 
is continue to rot at the base of the plant. And the root, th these roots rotting right here could actually affect the plant and it could actually kill it. I've seen it happen many, many times. So we wanna go ahead and remove that as well. But of course, we wanna be careful to not damage the new roots that have grown. So same thing with the leaves. These are the submerged grown. All right, guys, so it is actually a couple weeks uh, later. <laughs> uh, my camera on my phone uh, just stopped working because my memory was full. And so I had to uh, come back and film uh, this video again. So this is a, a different plant than the one that I was showing you guys, but there are still some immersed grown roots on this plant. So you guys can still get a sense of what I was trying to explain. So these are the immersed grown roots right here, these brown ones that are basically dying off. And these are the submerged grown roots. So we obviously wanna keep these and cut these off. Cause like I mentioned, these can cause problems with the plant once it's, uh, planted because they can just basically rot away and uh, I also did not clean up this plant yet by removing all these dying leaves or these submerged or, or immersed grown leaves so we'll go ahead and take these off as well and that's going to leave us with this beautiful Sagittaria broadleaf plant that's mostly transitioned to its uh, submerged state and now we can just plant this back into the pond and let it grow and uh, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, but if you received a plant from us that was uh, exactly like I discussed in this video, that's all you gotta do to make it suitable for your tank before you introduce it into your aquarium or plant it in your aquarium, and you should be good to go. And now we can go ahead and plant it with the rest of the boys, right down here into its own little special broadleaf Sagittaria area. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love, I love this species of Sagittarius. It's so gorgeous. All right, guys, so that pretty much does it for this video here on Jacob's Aquarium. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say really quick that I wanted to make a video like this and explain to you guys the difference between immersed and submerged grown plants and how to take care of them and prepare them for your tank because I get emails a lot from customers that receive immersed grown plants from me or uh, semi-transition to submerged uh, grown you know, uh, state, whatever you want to call it. In other words, in other words, the plant is in between uh, immersed and its submerged state. And people are flipping out because they see, you know, the discoloration in the leaves and they're seeing uh, dying roots and they're, they're, they're hysterical and sending me emails like, I want my money back, this is ridiculous, you know? And I always have to respond and say, relax, your plant's fine. There's a beautiful, beautiful plant underneath all that immersed, grown, dying crap. You just got to remove it you know, and then you're good to go, okay? So <laughs> so now I guess instead of replying to all those emails, you know, like that, you know, one by one by one, I could just refer them to this video. And uh, I hope also that I taught you guys something as well, because not everybody that watches my videos orders plants just from me. So if you receive immersed grown plants from somebody else, now you know what to do, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. I love you so much, and thank you for all the love and support you've shown my channel over the years I've been on YouTube. And if you'd like to buy any of the plants you've seen in this video, visit jacobsaquarium.com. Also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All my social media links are in the description below. Have fun with your tanks, everybody, and I will see you next time.